With over 17 million records sold worldwide, Disturbed ranks alongside Slipknot and Godsmack as one of the most successful rock bands of the 21st century. However, the band has also been involved in a number of high-profile feuds, with at least one resulting in a fist fight in front of fans. With that in mind, let's take a look at some of the rockers who can't stand Disturbed. Disturbed and California post-hardcore band Finch would be embroiled in a violent rivalry that would ultimately culminate in an explosive physical altercation. It all started in 2002, when Finch guitarist Randy Strohmeyer made disparaging comments about Disturbed and threatened to pump lead singer David Draymond full of lead. I'd cap him in the effing head, he told Mean Street Magazine. I'd rip his stupid little piercings out. They're just cheesy. It bumped me out because their music is terrible. Hopefully, all that music will die out soon. When the two bands shared a bill at the 2004 Rolling Rock Town Fair in Pennsylvania, chaos would ensue with an MTV News post from 2004 reading, as the revolving stage rotated to reveal Finch preparing to begin their set, disturbed guitarist Dan Donegan approached Finch guitarist Randy Strohmeyer and a scuffle erupted. As Strohmeyer's bandmates and members of their crew came to his aid, witnesses said, disturbed lead singer David Draymond and their manager entered the fray, and fists began to fly. Although no injuries were reported and no criminal complaints are expected to be filed, one Finch band member was swinging his guitar wildly and narrowly missed hitting Draymond over the head. When the smoke cleared, Finch resumed their set. Afterwards, security walked them to their tour bus, which was then escorted off the premises to prevent further incident because disturbed, their crew, and members of Seven Dust, who were also on the bill, were waiting for them backstage. Donegan would succinctly describe the reason the fight took place, saying, I've seen some posts trying to twist the whole thing into a new East Coast versus West Coast emo versus metal thing. Just to clarify, this has nothing to do with any of that. This is a simple lesson learned in life that there's consequences to your actions. In January of 2022, Canadian-American singer Neil Young posted an open letter threatening to remove his music from Spotify if it did not remove the Joe Rogan Experience podcast from their platform, saying that Spotify has a responsibility to mitigate the spread of misinformation. When Young's music was ultimately deleted from the platform, disturbed vocalist David Draymond commended the company for their decision, tagging Spotify CEO Daniel Ek on Twitter and writing, I applaud you and Spotify for making the right call, preserving free speech and not capitulating to the mob. I may not agree with everything Joe Rogan or his guests say, but they're entitled to have the forum to say it. Hair metal singer Sebastian Bach would call out Draymond in a tweet of his own, saying, Imagine calling yourself a rocker yet siding with some dude who has a podcast over Neil Young. You can stick to listening to your podcast, and I will stick to listening to Neil Young. Draymond would try to de-escalate the matter in his reply, telling Bach, I still love and will listen to Neil Young too, brother, the same way I still love and will listen to you. Always continue to respect and admire the both of you, brother. The only side I'm on is the side of freedom, and you're free to have your opinion, of course. The situation is made all the more awkward by the fact that Sebastian Bach was introduced to his now wife, model Suzanne Lay, by David Draymond himself back in 2014. Draymond's wife, Lena Yada, and Suzanne are longtime friends, so hopefully, this encounter did not turn them into enemies as well. The first iteration of the Mayhem Festival was supposed to be a celebration of all things metal. However, it would later inspire feelings of animosity between two of the top billed bands. Mastodon's ever eccentric lead guitarist Brent Hines would reveal his true feelings for Disturbed during an appearance on the Josta Show podcast, absolutely blasting the band as well as all fans of heavy metal in general. When asked if Hines had any bucket list tours left, he responded, No. I did a lot of tours I didn't want to do, like Disturbed and all that stupid Mayhem BS. You gotta open up for Disturbed. You gotta play to people that like Disturbed. It was just a bunch of drunk Americans. They're receptive to anything, I imagine. Hines was strongly criticized for using homophobic language towards Disturbed, so much so that Mastodon had to issue an apology on his behalf, reading, I'm very sorry we hurt your feelings or anyone else's. That is never our intention. We want our LGBTQ fans to feel safe listening to our music and coming to see us live. The band clarified that they have no ill will towards Disturbed, and that the band was very kind to them on the Mayhem tour. They also added that the interviewer might have caught Brent on a bad day. When Disturbed's David Draymond was asked how he felt about Heinz's comments, he simply said, Maybe he was having a bad day. Who knows? God knows I haven't had all glorious moments in my past in the press. So everybody's human, and I don't begrudge anyone. It's all good. 
Pink Floyd co-founder Roger Waters has been very vocal in his support of the boycott, divestment, and sanctions campaign, which calls for a cultural boycott of Israel. Disturbed singer David Draymond, who is of Jewish heritage, spoke out against Waters for boycotting Israel, saying that the campaign is based on hatred of a culture and of a people and of a society that have been demonized unjustifiably since the beginning of time. The man is so delusional, said Draymond. He is so wrapped up in his own psychosis and his own hatred disguised as this quote-unquote BDS campaign. The man is a very sick man. Draymond once again blasted Waters for allegedly using the Jewish star of David as one of the symbols on the giant inflatable pig that hovers over his concerts, calling the act uncalled for, abhorrent, and blatantly anti-Semitic. He further challenged Rogers' story from a 2006 concert in Israel, where Waters claimed that concert goers did not take too kindly to his onstage calls for peace in the Middle East. He performed in Israel and he made up stories about it, recalls Draymond. He tried to address the Israeli crowd and ask for peace and supposedly was met with negativity and boos. And then they go ahead and show the video from the actual performance, and the Israeli fans were cheering for peace. The guy's delusion is severe. During a 2008 interview with Beat Magazine, Dillinger Escape Plan guitarist Ben Wyman said he was dumbfounded by what he witnessed at one of Disturbed's sound checks. They were practicing where they were going to walk and when they were going to put their leg up on the monitor and pose, remembered Wyman. That was weird for us. There are times during live gigs where I don't even know where I am. Disturbed guitarist Dan Donegan would fire back at Wyman, saying, it sounds more like jealousy to me. We utilize theatrics and pyro, so we have to rehearse where the pyro is going to go off because we don't want to have a James Hetfield moment and get caught in the flame. But that's something Dillager Escape Plan would know nothing about because they don't play arenas, they play clubs. Ben would then post a blog to Dillinger Escape Plan's MySpace with a message for Dan Donegan, calling him a quote, D-bag with a little peen complex. It's safe to say that fans probably should not expect a disturbed and Dillager Escape Plan co-headlining tour anytime soon. British rock band The Darkness and Disturbed would feud with one another for close to two decades. It all started in a 2004 interview with Metal Edge magazine, where Disturbed's David Draymond would reveal that he heard that The Darkness was talking smack about his band, allegedly blasting them as a symbol of the new metal subgenre that was on its last legs. Draymond would fire back by saying that The Darkness was an absolute joke of a band. Then, nearly 20 years later, the Darkness frontman Justin Hawkins would take to his YouTube channel to recount his band's disastrous gig opening for Disturbed back in 2002. People were just throwing stuff at us. It kind of made me perform more, which made them more angry. And then afterwards, David Draymond wasn't very pleased with me, but not my problem. In a very classy move, Draymond would extend an olive branch to Hawkins via Twitter, saying, Sorry you feel that way. There's a lot of things I regret saying in the past, and this is one of them. It's been 20 years. I think we're both old enough to have a pint at some point and laugh about it. Hawkins happily accepted the invitation and told Draymond he would direct message him on Instagram. Presumably, the two then met up and had a good laugh about the whole thing. Check out another one of our videos right here. And for more rock and metal news, make sure that you subscribe to Heavy and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. We have more videos about your favorite bands coming soon. Thank you for watching Heavy, and we'll see you in the next one.